Hi there, welcome to episode 06, Viscosity and Surface Tension. Viscosity and surface tension are two important properties that define the behavior of a fluid. Both of them are easy to understand because we have many examples in nature. Viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. It describes the internal friction of a moving fluid. A fluid with large viscosity resists motion because it has a lot of internal friction. Surface tension is the tendency of liquid surfaces to shrink into the minimum surface area. Surface tension causes liquid drops to conform to a spherical shape and it also causes to form tendrils in liquid splashes. Before adding viscosity and surface tension in the flip solver, go to the volume motion tab, change the velocity transfer parameter from splashy to swirly. This will help us to reduce the splashy behavior. And in the collision tab, reduce the collision velocity scale to 0.8. Now in the viscosity tab, enable the viscosity checkbox. But Viscosity also needs to be set up in the flip object. Go to the flip object, go to the physical tab and enter a value for the viscosity. Usually you don't get the right value the first time. The normal process is that you start with a value, play the simulation, check and adjust the value again and again until you get the desired result. After several trials, I found that a value of about 20 worked for this simulation. So let's type 20 for the viscosity and if needed we will make a final adjustment. Now go to the flip solver, go to the volume motion tab and then to the surface tension tab. Enable the surface tension checkbox and enter a value for the surface tension parameter. The same process here, you have to test several values until you get the desired result. For this simulation, I found 50 as a good value for the surface tension. Let's make a flipbook. Press the start button. Ok. The flipbook is ready. It took about 5 minutes to render. Play the flipbook. Well, we can see a different behavior of the fluid. It's more viscous and this helps to the slow motion effect. In the next video, we are going to learn how to write to disk or simulation data and how to convert these simulation points into a geometry surface. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one.